to clean your carbs on a Gixxer 1997 750. Um, I actually already cleaned them, so I'm gonna show you how to peel apart your bike and get at them, and then I'm gonna just explain how to uh, clean the carbs the rest of the way once they're off. So the tools for this job that you will be needing are, drum roll please, all right, a standard set of um, socket wrenches, a Phillips head screwdriver that's over a foot long. Um, if it's too short, you won't be able to get your carbs off. A uh, standard Phillips screwdriver for working on the carb, pulling it off. And uh, if those won't come out, then a pair of vice grips. And then also something that I've developed while working on my bike is, um, this is a level, you can get any, like a, a paddle, piece of wood, two by four, anything that's approximately four feet, and I'll show you what this is use for in a second. So I'm going to start. I hope you guys can hear me. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do now is take off the seat. There's two bolts in the back of the seat on either side. I ride with one in at all times just because they're pain in the ass to get out. So, um, for this, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter, um, an extension, and the driver. And I use my longer 10 millimeter opposed to my shorter one. So, um, you gotta kind of peel back the seat, and that reveals a screw about an inch and a half long. And there's also one right here. So there also should be one right there. comes your seat and then there's where the other bolt is missing. Alright, so now that we have our seat off that allows the tank to come backward and up. So there's also two bolts holding the tank on, both in the front of the tank. I only ride with one again for this exact reason. Sometimes it comes loose so I have to hand tighten it, but it shouldn't be a problem. Also watch out when you're doing these bolts um, because um, this thing tends to hit your gas tank possibly or um, the bars that go over the handlebars so you don't want your paint to get scratched up when you're um, working on it. Um, so that allows the gas tank to go back and this is where the stick comes in. We will just peel this back. Make sure you don't have too much gas in your gas tank or else it will run out. Alright, so that, that acts as kind of like a kickstand for it. The next thing that come out is your air box. So the air box has three fittings that go onto it. Two in back and one up front. Also, I totally forgot, I finally actually screwed the tightening uh, hose clamps. So now I have to undo all four of those. And 
when you're putting them back on, they'll be slipping all over the place, so make sure you put a finger on it and then tighten it in. So it should just wiggle off. And then there's a hose up front, which is very self-explanatory. A hose on the side, which is very self-explanatory. You just can't lose these hoses. And then a hose in the middle back. And then that frees up your air box. This is the stock air box. Uh, apparently there are some like mini cleanable ones that actually look a lot cooler. Um, so I'm actually going to reset up the camera now so you can get a better view at what we're dealing with. Alright, so now that we got the air box off, um, we're just going to be dealing with these carbs. The carbs will be open to the air so make sure you're not working in a windy area with lots of leaves or dirt flying around. My wrench set just fell on the ground, that's awesome. Um, so, this is where we get to use this long screwdriver. Um, this is the only thing holding your carbs onto the uh, top of your engine, um, which is two screws. And if you see right here, this is the hole that we're going to use. You just slide this in, and it should meet up with a screw right here. I'm turning it right now. Um, there's also one on the opposite side, and I'm, I believe it's symmetrical. Let me just go check. Yeah, it's symmetrical. You'll get it. All right, so from the, there, you're going to want to turn those about 25 to 30 turns out. It seems like a lot, but they're very long screws, and um, you want your carburetors to be firmly on your block. Um, so they're going to be on there pretty tight, so you're just going to want to loosen that all the way out until you can wiggle it. And then if you can wiggle your carbs, then you can pull them off. But before you pull them off, uh, let's see, there are some uh, gas lines as well as, I think, two electrical things that you have to unplug. Uh, yeah, alright. So there's an electrical thing that you have to unplug that's right behind the second carburetor. And then there's an electrical thing that you have to unplug that's right next to the fourth carburetor. From there, you're going to have a line from your gas tank going into your second carburetor. Um, As well as, this is um, the hard part, your throttle, your choke cable, and um, your idle screw. Um, you're going to actually have to undo your idle screw. I'll take you around to see that. You probably know where it is. It's right here. Um, and you're going to want to undo that bolt. Um, and that links up to this thing, which is your throttle adjustment or your idle adjustment. And then uh, I think this is the gas, your throttle. And then this is this one is your choke. And I think this is a secondary uh, throttle or something. Let me follow this back. Forget where that goes. Yeah, that's also a throttle cable. So there's two throttle cables. To take those off, you would just loosen that bolt and that bolt, back them up all the way to the top, and then you can slide these out. To get the um, the choke out was a little bit hard. I don't know if you guys can see it, but here's the choke cord. And for the choke cord, you can actually um, see this little thing inside there moving. I don't know if you can or not. But if you can push that over with your finger, see how I'm pushing that with my finger? Um, you can give yourself enough room to just release and then uh, release the choke. And then you can put it on the same way. So that will get your carbs totally disconnected. You want to label everything with, uh, my preference is blue painter's tape with a black sharpie. And then, assuming that you have your carbs off by now, congratulations. And all you really need to do is these things. Alright, so you're going to put uh, this side on the bottom. This is going to go on the bottom touching the table. You're going to disconnect this one, this one, this one, and this one. 
and the reason for that being is because that's connected to the um, the car parts that um, you're gonna want to take off to clean the inside of your carbs, which is only one panel, which with three screws. The first screw is back here. Here's one, and then there's another one on the other side. So it's like that. And um, so once you pop these off, it'll allow you to undo, there's three per carb, so that's 12. Undo all 12 um, screws. Now I had a problem with getting the screws off. So that is where this comes in, your pair of vice grips. I literally just adjusted to the size of the screw. I think they're still adjusted to that size and um, pinched it on either side of the screw and just unturned it and that worked so much better. I couldn't get any of the 12 screws out until I used that thing. Um, if you have a needle nose pair of pliers, um, pair of needle nose vice grips, that will work even better. And so once you're there um, and actually have this piece off, you don't have to take it fully off. You can have these go until they're sitting about right here. So just pull them off enough for you to get to um, all the parts um, that you can see visually and just clean them off with WD-40. And then the only thing else that you have to do is clean your pilot jets, which is a little um, six-sided nut that is about that big in uh, uh, diameter and you're gonna just wanna uh, make sure you, you're not tightening them too hard in and you're just gonna wanna back them out until they come out, clean them out with WD-40 and put them back in the same tightness as they were. And reverse those steps, put the bike back together and your bike will be ripping. Uh, thanks for watching. Lucid TV. All right, so to further clarify, the Pilot Jet is like a bl brass or copper color. It's probably about like a five to seven millimeter um, thing that you have to unscrew. Um, when you're doing your carbs, you should get Carb Cleaner or WD-40, or I guess you could use like um, engine start stuff. Anything that's that'll eat away all the um, frozen up or gunked up gas. Um, sorry, my computer's all glitchy. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned.